If you're an old guy like me that still competes athletically, maximizing your testosterone is a must. If you're not an old guy, you still better listen to this video. Hey cycling community, this is Steve Grusis, the Cycling Greek. I gotta do everything I can to maximize my testosterone production while minimizing my estrogen production. Testosterone maximizes around the ages of 18 or 19, and after that it starts to dial back just a little bit. For males, sometime after the age of 30, testosterone levels can drop about 1% a year. For females, who produce most of their testosterone in their ovaries, they'll have an appreciable drop after menopause, which for them usually begins between the ages of 45 and 55. After the age of 19, the normal hormonal levels for testosterone range from 240 to about 1,000 nanograms per deciliter in males. In females, it's about 6 to 80. You have that 90-10 rule. About 90% of the sex hormones in males are testosterone and 10% estrogen. And for females, it's the opposite. About 90% estrogen, 10% testosterone. What can you do to maximize testosterone without using any exogenous methods such as taking shots or using creams? I focus on two areas, food and behavior. Foods that promote testosterone production, foods that promote estrogen production. Behaviors that cause testosterone to be secreted, and conversely, those that don't. So let's start with food. You can break this down into three categories. Food that provides nutrients for the testosterone biochemical pathway, food that promotes estrogen production, and food that causes stress. Nutrients important to the testosterone biochemical pathway include vitamins A, D, zinc, cholesterol, and omega-3s. And you can find those in foods such as carrots, citrus, eggs, oily fish such as salmon and sardines, avocados, and various nuts. Foods that tend your body toward testosterone and away from estrogen contain one of these three items. B6, resveratrol, and allicin. B6 inhibits estrogen production. You can find those in many foods such as spinach, eggs, fish, and vegetables. Resveratrol minimizes estrogen and therefore boosts testosterone. And you can find those in dark-skinned berries such as blueberries, cranberries, dark cherries. You can also find it in peanuts and pistachios, and even cacao and dark chocolate. And lastly, there's allicin, found in garlic. That lowers cortisol levels. Testosterone is commonly thought to only be produced in testosterone and ovaries, but it's also produced in the adrenal glands. Cortisol is produced in the adrenal glands. And it's kind of like a seesaw thing. If you're producing cortisol, you're not producing testosterone. If you're producing testosterone, you're not producing cortisol. That's why stress, or rather lack of stress, is important in testosterone production. Now, a little tidbit about garlic. If you cut or crush garlic, there is an enzyme called alienase, which converts alien to allicin. And allicin is short-lived, as it will convert over to some sulfide compound. So the best thing you can do is take a clove of garlic, Chew it well, I bet you can smell that over the camera, then swallow it. <coughs> yes, Bob. On the other end, you have aromatase, which converts testosterone over to estrogen. My eyes are watering. <coughs> A few moments later, so you want to include aromatase inhibiting foods such as mushrooms and cruciferous vegetables. And cruciferous vegetables include broccoli, cabbage, bok choy, kale, turnips, collard greens. While a seldom drink is okay, long-term consistent use of alcohol inhibits testosterone production, probably because of alcohol's effect on the liver. I'm still researching grains such as bread and pasta because I read somewhere once where that can have a negative effect on testosterone, probably because of a component called zea that mimics estrogen. I'm still researching that. Still, I have dialed back on my grains and have started substituting red and sweet potatoes. Other things that you can do is use of probiotics and make sure you get enough fiber. In the future video, I'll be talking about fiber, sugar, and your small intestine. Next and lastly are behaviors. All exercising, may increase your testosterone levels. Weightlifting, particularly using heavy weights, doing deadlifts and squats, and doing high-intensity interval training will be most effective in secreting testosterone. 
We talked about minimizing stress as another behavior. Playing in the sun, getting that vitamin D. And lastly, and most importantly in my opinion, is sleep. The more quality sleep you have, the more testosterone you'll produce. In closing, there are two things I want you to take away from this. Having a diet based on unprocessed whole foods with a primary focus on plants. And the next is good quality sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Hit that little bell for my next video. And remember, comment like subscribe. And subscribe. The Cycling Greek is starting to get popular. The Cycling Greek.